Hello students, today I will talk about the first law of thermodynamics. I will tell this law with its proof in an easy way. Okay. So we will learn the concept that how this first law of thermodynamics has been developed. Okay. So first of all, I will discuss about that what is a specific heat. Okay. So I will discuss the topics one by one and at last you will be able to understand easily that what is first law of thermodynamics. So what is specific heat? We know this that specific heat is the amount of heat required by 1 kg of substance so that 1 degree centigrade temperature rise can take place. Okay, so in case 1 kg of substance is there and we want to raise the temperature of that 1 kg substance to 1 degree centigrade, then the amount of heat required is called a specific heat, general definition of specific heat. Okay, for example, in case 1 kg of water is there, okay then it needs 4200 joules of heat energy so that its temperature can rise up to 1 degree centigrade means initially it was if the water was at 15 degree centigrade then to raise the temperature to 16 degree it will need 4200 joules of energy 1 kg of water will need this much amount of heat energy okay now here uh, one more way to learn this specific heat that suppose this is a mass m and we are giving amount of heat del Q. Okay. So M is the mass and S is the specific heat of this substance. Then the amount of heat required per unit mass per degree centigrade rise is what the specific heat. Okay. In place of M, if you are keeping 1 and in place of DT, if you are keeping 1 degree, okay, then S will become equals to del Q. Okay. So uh, the amount of heat required by 1 kg of substance to so that 1 degree centigrade temperature rise can take place is called as a specific heat. Okay. Now, gases means this thing is true for all kinds of substances, but for the case of gases, there are two specific heat. Okay. Means this is specific heat, unique specific heat, this is applicable for all kinds of substances, for example, liquids and solids. Okay. But in case of gases, there are two specific heat. One is a specific heat at constant pressure that I will discuss in detail and other is a specific heat at constant volume. Okay, so gases have two specific, two kinds of specific heat. Same uh, one kg of gas is there, then there uh, one specific heat will be Cp that is specific heat at constant pressure and one will be Cv that is specific heat at constant volume. Okay, now Next thing we have to learn that what is internal energy of a system. Suppose this is a system which is containing uh, molecules of gases, okay, it's gas molecules in a container, okay. Then a single gas molecule, suppose we are taking any one gas molecule, a single gas molecule, molecule can possess many forms of energy with it. And in case you are considering any one molecule, then in case it is moving with some velocity, it will have kinetic energy and it is uh, above ground from some datum it is at some height then it will have some potential energy also similarly in case it is vibrating it will have vibration vibrational energy and many forms of energy are there it may have magnetic energy it may have rotational kinetic energy rotational potential energy like this okay so a single molecule can have many forms of energy with it okay if we add up all those forms of energy of single molecule, it will give the total energy of that molecule, say small e. Means uh, all the kinds of energy in, in case we are adding, all the unit will be joule. Okay. So all the forms of energy in case we are adding of that single molecule, we will get the total energy of that molecule. Now in case we add up the total energy of all the molecules of the gas contained in the system, means uh, this system can contain million, billions of gas molecules. So, the total energy of all the molecules in case we are adding up, that will be called as internal energy of the system denoted by U. So, uh, U will be what? That will equal to N E. N is the number of molecules in this system. So, E is the total energy of single molecule and in case we are uh, adding up uh, the total energies of all the molecules, we will get the internal energy that is denoted by U. Okay. So, we have learned that what is internal, internal energy of the system. Okay. Remember one thing that the temperature of system only depends upon the internal energy of the system. Means higher the internal energy will be, whatever I have discussed over here, the definition of internal energy, 
higher the internal energy will be higher the temperature will be it means if the internal energy is rising the temperature will also rise so there is a direct relationship that is the rise in temperature of a system is directly proportional to the rise in internal energy of the system okay so temperature has a direct connection with the internal energy okay so this also we have learned uh, first what we what did, what we did learn that what is specific heat second we did learn that gases have two specific heats and third we have learned that what is the internal energy of the system and we know this thing that temperature of the system is directly proportional to the internal energy of the system now what is work done of a system so it means work done associated with the system suppose that this is a piston cylinder system this is the piston and this is the cylinder okay in, and this is containing some gas then general definition of work done is what that is equals to force into displacement okay dx is the displacement f is the applied force that's it now in case this gas is applying pressure on this piston then the total force applied on this piston will be equals to the pressure into area because pressure equals to what force upon area so pressure into area will be the applied force okay so in place of f i can write p into a now we also know this thing that the area of base into height is what volume is for example uh, for the case of a cylinder what is the volume pi r square h here pi r square is the area of base and h is the height so this piston is moving and from beginning to end in this movement the area remains the same okay so uh, whatever the area of base that is say a into the displacement will give what the change in volume so simple for in thermodynamics the work done is given by pressure into change in volume pdv okay so we have learned that what is the work done associated with any system now we will talk about that what is cv that is a specific heat at constant volume okay so let's take again this piston in the system you can see this is the piston this is the load on it this black color is the load which is acting in downward direction by the action of gravity now right now this piston is locked you can see this uh, i have shown the locks by this blue color entity okay now in this case if we are adding heat to this gas what will happen the gas will try to expand since the piston is locked so this piston will not move so volume will remain constant okay so suppose 1 kg of gas is there inside this cylinder so in this case when volume remains constant the amount of heat required so that 1 degree centigrade temperature can rise means 1 kg of gas is there and we are adding heat however the volume is not changing okay so 1 kg of gas is there and we are adding heat so that 1 degree centigrade uh, temperature can can take place then it will be termed as specific heat at constant volume termed as cv understood means the volume of gas remains constant we are adding heat the definition remains the same the definition of specific heat is what that 1 kg of substance is there and we want to raise the temperature by 1 degree centigrade then the amount of heat required is what specific heat so here the definition remains the same however the volume of gas will remain constant in that case if we are adding heat then the amount of heat required so that 1 degree centigrade temperature rise can take place is called as a specific heat at constant volume cv okay so we know this thing that temperature is proportional to internal energy of the system that we have already discussed okay so maximum temperature rise will take place because whatever heat we are giving to the system we know this thing that energy is conserved it can neither be created nor be destroyed so entire energy will be used by the molecules to raise the internal energy that's it because where the energy will go it cannot be destroyed it cannot be created also so the amount of heat will go will be invested only in the internal energy purely in the internal energy of the system so maximum temperature rise will take place because temperature is proportional to the internal energy of the system so here uh, however general formula is del q equals to msdt that we have already discussed here we will uh, write the formula del q equals to m cvdt because cv is the specific heat at constant volume so that will be completely equal to the internal energy change of the system because this heat will convert into energy of the molecules now heat added at constant pressure now we can see we, same piston cylinder system is there okay now we are adding heat however the locks are removed okay now to keep the pressure constant while heat addition what we want we want constant pressure so to keep the pressure while heat addition the piston has to move because when we are adding heat gas wants to expand and if we are locking the piston since it is unable to expand so it will raise the pressure of the gas right now we want to keep the pressure constant so whatever 
the amount of expansion the gas needs in case we are allowing that in that case it will get a relief this relief is not a technical term just to make you understand so the piston has to move to allow the gas to expand to get a relief in pressure and in case piston is moving in such a way so that whatever pressure rise is taking place by addition of heat that is relieved by movement of the piston then the pressure will remain constant okay so in this case means same 1 kg of gas is there and we want to raise the temperature of that gas to 1 degree centigrade then the amount of heat required will be termed as specific heat at constant pressure called as cp okay so formula will become del q equals to m cp dt in place of s specific heat we will write m cp dt that's it okay so once again that the amount of heat required by 1 kg of gas so that 1 degree centigrade temperature rise can take place and the pressure remains constant is called as a specific heat at constant pressure cp now one thing is interesting over here that is in case we are adding heat at constant pressure then gas is allowed to expand okay so in this case what will happen that some part of heat is used to move this piston entire heat will not go to the internal energy of the system some part is used to move this piston because it uh, work done needs energy to perform itself okay so only partial heat will go to the internal energy of the system and rest of the amount will be used to move this piston okay for example suppose 100 joules of energy we are adding to this 1 kg of gas and pressure remains constant then suppose 30 joules are used to move this piston to perform work then only 70 joules will be used to raise the temperature okay so what is the conclusion that cp will always be greater than cv the reason being here 100 joules of heat is added at constant pressure then only 70 joules is used to raise the temperature but in case of suppose piston is not allowed to move it is at constant volume for constant volume case uh, no work is there so entire heat will be used to raise the temperature because entire heat will convert into internal energy of the system and since temperature depends only on internal energy okay so for the case of constant pressure uh, only partial heat is converted into internal energy so less temperature rise will take place compared to that of in case the same heat is added at constant volume so more amount of heat is required at constant pressure to raise the temperature of gas to 1 degree centigrade compared to that of same we are doing at constant volume for 1 kg of gas okay so cp will always be greater than cv okay now the first law of thermodynamics is very clear that is that in case we are adding heat to any system at constant pressure say del q then some part of heat will be used to move the piston that is equal to del w to perform the work and rest amount of the part will be used to raise the internal energy so this is responsible for temperature rise so del q equals to del w plus du so this is what called as first law of thermodynamics 